historic US-20. All right guys, we got the Phantom. Let's check out what else we got. We're gonna have some maintenance to do. The Wolf X has, that's just the Wolf. The Wolf X behind it has a flat tire. Then we have the 10X and another 10X, two 10Xs, that's pretty awesome. An 11X, which has the controller we're gonna swap. And this Mantis got a flat tire. Carter, you're gonna love this. So we're gonna swap that too. Um, we got spare tubes, but no tires. So this could be interesting. I don't know if the wolf is gonna fix or not, but we'll see. No, I will, guys.
Thank you. <laughs> Friendly police interactions on Scoot America. We support all the police and everything they do for our small communities, especially in Iowa, here where I'm from. Behind the scenes of the photo shoots.
This is one of the top press specialists in Dyer, Dyersville. He's here to cover Alex today. And we're actually at um, the Savvy Salvage Bird's Nest Antique Store because Brian, the expert, has these signs up all across US 20 now um, in Iowa. Pretty big deal. It helps people stay on the path while they're traveling US 20 and specifically it helps Alex stay on the path right now in Iowa. So it's getting some nice shots today. Beautiful day out here in Dyersville. Surprise. They're pretty big. Yeah. Pizza pretzel. Big. Thank you. German pretzel. Look at these giant pretzels. I've never seen such a deluxe pretzel. What's up? Hey, can you do the sidewalk when you get to the bridge? Just yeah. go slow over the sidewalk? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. Great. See you then. You, you can come down now. Okay, bye. See you in a little bit here.
Hey there. It died. I'm gonna it turn. Died, all right. To turn on my we'll glimpse. Be, all right, we'll be back. All right. What did I get out of this? You only got uh, five. So Give or half five. So ten plus five. Fifteen. Yeah, this Apollo has not. Dead. Has, yeah, it gives me an error six. Oh, man. It happened yesterday too, but much earlier in the ride. I got like three miles out of it. Yeah, it has not shown bright at Scoot America. Going back to timeout. Got a flat tire in the front. Oh. It's running out of air. That would have been why your range. See how flat it is? Yeah. It's probably got some kind of a puncture. For oh, sake, man. How can I get so many flats? Yeah, we're well, not of scooters. Look. Did you bring like a bottle of armadillos? I did. Okay, we can probably just put some in. And they all have armadillos. Okay. It'll be fixed. All right, but they all have armadillos already. I guess you want to get the next one out first. Yeah. Okay. So let me think about this. So I rode. This first wolf's already dead. Yeah, the first wolf is dead. I got a second wolf. Let's take a zero out. Now, Brian, let me ask you this: what What are the easiest scooters to change the tires on of all the scooters I have? Uh, probably all of them. Probably what? Except the wolves. All except the wolves. Yeah. Okay. Can you write down for me? What kind of tires they take? Yeah, they all take the same tires. They do? Basically. These, um, this type of tire. It's like, uh, I can write it down. Yeah, write it down for me and find out. And I'm gonna have somebody send me tires. Yep, I agree. Thank you, Brian. Yep. Okay, sorry, man. You Let me this, help you. This wolf or you want? No, I, I want the zero. zero. Okay. Yeah. Let me get this out of the way. Yeah, let me get the... Yeah, we gotta take two. Let's just take it out, because we need also to bring the uh, the X out. I got it. Man, that's a lot of flats. That's not technically a flat yet. Okay. It's just the front. It's just the front. Yeah. Okay. All right. That explains the range issue. Yeah, but it was fine. But that's the thing. It, 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 the battery and all that looked fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. So zero. Thank you. I'll put it on there. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Um, okay. So. How many miles are we from our destination? Um, what are we? Just to the 15? 15? 15? Okay. So this is the last scooter. And we have our meeting. Right yeah. Here. And that's it? Yep. What time is it? Okay, 4 o'clock. We're good. Sorry, man. We'll help you with that. Okay. Yeah. Let me, uh, uh -huh. Yeah. Probably just hold ground, put it back. Now just... Just leave it as is? Yeah, just leave it as is. Just put it in there. Oh man, this is beginning to be a little uh, unnerving. We definitely overused the pillows, but we'll rearrange because we can make it work with the last pillows. But I'm riding that, so we're good for now. All right, so that goes here.
What's up, people? We made it to Waterloo today. Somewhere around 80 or 90 miles of scooting. We're gonna stop quick to do an interview for Alex at the Waterloo Courier, the newspaper. I think it's a great way to get the news out to people that don't read online or have social media. They would, you know, do much better reading the newspaper, um, older people. And so this is an important interview from that standpoint. Excited to see all these interviews that Alex has lined up for the next couple of days. This is a big part of what he's doing. It's not just the scooting, but it's the talking to reporters, the talking to people, getting the word out that, you know, scooters have a future in our society and that they're coming and we just need to be prepared and get our roads ready so that it's safe to use them. So it's the biggest part of this trip. In my mind, the most important part more important than the scooting itself is the interviews that we're doing so here he is over here we're waiting for the uh, courier journalist to come down and write this good story break after a nice scoop. Love the openness, the lack of traffic and uh, the peace and the scenery of it. But thoroughly enjoyed it on my day one. Thanks for watching guys. I really really enjoyed making this video. If you enjoyed it too, drop a like and subscribe. Feel free to check out the scooter links in the description if you want to buy one of these scooters for yourself. Give it to my baby. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> yeah. Please follow Zero to Epic on all social media platforms, as well as Historic Route 20 on Facebook to find Brian Farr, the support driver. If you haven't yet, please join our giant Facebook group, Electric Scooters Global. That's where all the fun goes down.